Okay, so here we are uh, at the kiln site. That's my car. Some of the boxes with some of the pots I brought to fire. That's Hubble's truck over there. Walking down the pathway to the kiln site. You see the kilns uh, covering there. Some of the wood we're going to be burning. Some of the side stoke wood. And here we have the stack, which is about 20 moving on down to the side of the the side door of the kiln. Some of the pots that we're going to be putting in the kiln. And there's Tom. He's trying to figure out what to set next there. You got a question for us there, Tom? Huh? Got a question for us? No. no? I'm just trying to look for the answers. Try to look for... <laughs> so That's this it. is some of the pots that will be going in the kiln. Everybody brings their stuff uh, boxed up or uh, well padded and glazed, mostly not glazed. And the side door of the kiln, there's Tom Hubble in there setting a few pieces. Hello, Tom. Morning. How you doing? All right. And there's some of the kiln furniture situation there, the stilts and so forth, and some shelves that somebody already worked pretty hard on cleaning up and washing, it looks like. And moving on down to the firebox area. Still, uh, we're just in the beginning stages of setting, so there's the, the firebox area, which will soon get closed up and uh, build a firebox for it. So that's all for now. And this is uh, just uh, upstream of the blast zone, just coming into the belly. And there's the arch. And there's some greenware. And this is the rear of the kiln. You can see the uh, flue holes there. And uh, some platters down on the floor. And the first shelf up with a few cups. Still have more space there. Plate along the side of the wall there and a plate along the side of the wall there. And here's some of Rob Johnson's pots that we will soon set on that shelf in the rear of the kiln. It's uh, Tuesday morning. My second uh, night of uh, firing. As you can see, we've got uh, quite a bit of fog going on. It's just really beautiful looking. Move down the fence line here. Out into the prairie. Just east of the kiln site. It's really quite beautiful, isn't it? It's a beautiful morning. That's just the trees and the fog there. Looks like mountains, doesn't it? Here's another view of the fog this morning. Bring it in a little closer. Sunrise coming up. Okay, we're up on the uh, fourth day of firing. By 6 o'clock this evening, it'll be the end of day 4. Some of the pie that needs to be split. A bunch of wood over there that's already gotten split. There's our log splitter. Some of the side stoke wood. There's one side stoke hole. There's another side stoke hole. We haven't started uh, back stoking yet. Although I imagine we will today. And here's the firebox area. There's... Uh, just a little bit of fire in the ash pit and I'm going to open up the firebox door so you can see we got some fire going on in there too. We haven't really got uh, color in the kiln yet. We're just starting to build temperature. Okay so it's uh, unload day and as you can see there's a lot of people parked up on the hill here and I'm going to make my way down to the kiln site now back in in a few minutes and here we are uh, approaching the kiln site 
There's Tom Hubble over there. Looks like he's putting a piece of uh, Tom's work in his pickup truck. Morning, Tom. Morning. Moving on down the, the walkway here, down toward the area where there's most activity going on. The unload is clearly underway. And a few things out here. Some made it. Uh, a few things get broken. Are we firing, of course? Morning. And getting down toward the side door. And that's, that's getting handed out the door. Shelves, too. Okay, here we go. Shelf going up the up the hill a little bit there. Check out a few things as they come out. Check back with you later. Okay, here's a few more uh, pieces that just came out of the kiln and uh, some of my stuff sitting over here, moving on down. Gonna get down to the the unload crew here. So how's it going so far? How's it going so far, everybody? Well, I'd say the back was a little. Could have used another. 24 to uh -huh. 40 hours of firing. It came apart. Yeah. I uh -huh. I mean, came apart? What'd you do there? Uh, just a gentle twist. Uh -huh. and, cool. Uh, no, kind of no, half-hearted, I was afraid, but it worked. Yeah. Nothing yeah. broke. Good. Very repairable right scars. Right. Okay, so we pretty much uh, emptied out the kiln. Get all the kiln furniture kind of uh, haphazardly stacked all over the place. All have to be cleaned up before the next firing. Some people... Uh, Discussing some of their work, how it came out. A bunch of Rob, Rob Johnson pots here. He has not yet shown up. I imagine he will soon to get his uh, work. Moving up the hill. Looks more pots that uh, out of this firing, uh, waiting to get packed up. Tom Harnick's pots and some sculptural pieces, large jar, some of my stuff over here that I have not yet packed. I'm working on it. Some chili bowls, some vases, some empty boxes, some more of these uh, slab vases. And it looks like everybody's kind of getting ready to take off. See you later. See you next time. See you next time. Okay, so we're pretty much packed up. There's a few of my platters that uh, I had in the rear of the Anagama underneath the first, uh, the bottom two shelves, bottom four shelves in the back of the kiln, and a few other vases, packing material, and the last of the pieces that I need to get uh, packed up. And then we're going to get the heck out of here. Okay, take care. Bye.